Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In this video, I want to talk about noise reduction and why you should not leave the setting turned on in your Olympus OMD camera. Let's do this. In case you're not aware, it is raining heavily out there. That's why I'm here indoors filming this. Also, it is very windy. Hopefully the microphone doesn't pick up too much wind noise. Anyways, the shoot goes on. Over the years, a lot of my friends who are using Olympus OMD cameras, they come to me and ask, Hey Robin, why is my Olympus OMD cameras so slow? Olympus says that their cameras are blazing fast in autofocus and response, but they're using the same camera as I do, whether it's EM1, EM5, or EM1 Mark II, same cameras, same settings, same autofocus settings, the drive, everything, shutter speed, but my camera responds immediately with very minimal lag as if everything is instantaneous and their cameras, after they click the shutter button, there is a slight delay. After I did some quick check, the answer has always been consistent for many, many cases. They have accidentally left the noise reduction setting turned on. Before we go any further, this particular video and whatever I'm about to say is only true for Olympus or OM system cameras. There is this particular setting called noise reduction and it's different from noise filter. We will explore both what noise filter means, what does noise reduction do, what are the differences, and what kind of settings you should set for your Olympus or OM system camera. Let's start with noise filter. Noise filter is a digital post-processing, it is software-based, it's applied to your JPEG image and is saved into your camera. What it does, it reduces the high ISO noise in your images. As you raise the ISO numbers, say 3200, 6400, or let's go crazy, 25600, you'll see a lot of noise. This digital noise, there are false colors, there are random pixel colors that looks really ugly and can be destructive to your image. So noise filter, as what it says, it filters out the noise from your image and it saves it as JPEG. And of course, again, may I reiterate, this is only applicable if you shoot in JPEG. If you shoot in RAW, the noise filter doesn't change anything in your image. To find the noise filter settings in your camera, Go to menu, under the menu, go to the gear icon. Inside the gear icon, depending on which camera you're using, this is EM5 Mark III, go to E1. Under E1, find the noise filter. Inside noise filter, you have four settings, off, low, standard, and high. I highly recommend using low. Now, before we can talk about noise reduction, which is totally different from noise filter, we need to know what hot pixel is. Hot pixel is different from noise. Although Olympus refers to noise reduction, it is actually hot pixel reduction. Now, hot pixel is not noise. Now, let's recap what I've mentioned about noise earlier. Noise happens when there's false color and grains due to high ISO shooting. However, hot pixel is different. Hot pixels can happen at low ISO. Hot pixels will happen if you shoot with long exposure, if your shutter speed is too long, if you drag the shutter speed to say 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, as the image sensor gets hot, there is hot pixels. That's why the name comes from hot pixels. The pixels get hot. Hence, you have something like noise with false colors. Now, the difference between hot pixels and noise, high ISO noise, is very easy. Hot pixels happen at fixed locations on the image sensor. It doesn't move around. But high ISO noise happens at random position over the image. It doesn't repeat itself. So high ISO image, say you shoot at ISO 3200, 6400, 25600, you take many images, it will happen at different positions from one image to another. Now because hot pixels, it stays at exact same position from one frame to another, 
another, no matter how many images you take, you can then predict the location of the hot pixels and get rid of it. This is where noise reduction, or that's what Olympus calls it, noise reduction, this is where it comes in. Basically, the Olympus noise reduction is dark frame subtraction method. You can look this up in Google or Wikipedia. It is quite a popular technique in photography. It is widely used to reduce hot pixels. Dark frame subtraction method is very simple. What it does, the camera will take two photographs, two frames, and these two frames are taken consecutively. The first frame, is properly exposed. Say I want to take 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, that image will be taken fully. Then after the shutter is closed, the camera will take a dark frame. The next photograph that is taken because the shutter is closed is supposed to be completely dark because there's no light that comes in through the camera. Now the second dark frame is very important because it's supposed to be completely black then, because of long exposure, there is hot pixels and the camera can determine where the hot pixels are and based on the location of the hot pixels from the dark frame, then the camera's software can get rid of these individual hot pixels effectively. Now this is dark frame subtraction method. The dark frame subtracts the hot pixel from the image and it is very effective it happens at the raw level it already happens even before the camera saves the image as raw now this is very very important if you do long exposure photography it is important to use dark frame subtraction or noise reduction to find the noise reduction setting go to the menu under the gear same location again which is near the noise filter go to e1 Inside E1, you should see both the noise filter and noise reduction together. Go inside noise reduction, you have three options, which is off, on, and auto. So for now, I'm gonna turn this off to see what happens without the noise reduction, without the hot pixel reduction. Two seconds, self timer. The camera is taking 30 seconds, long exposure. I'm expecting this to have a lot of hot pixels. Uh, this is not recommended if you're doing low exposure unless you know what you're doing, unless you want to remove the pixels individually, which will have a lot of work, or you do your own dark frame subtraction. If you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, like myself, I will not recommend turning it off. So for now, this is uh, done. 30 seconds exposure, we're gonna check the image. I'm sure we're gonna find some hot pixels, uh, of course, together with some raindrops. There, uh, do you see the blue blob there? That's uh, one of the hot pixels, blue and green. There, <laughs> that's not supposed to be there. Try to find some more, I'm sure we'll find a few more. Uh, let's look around. This one is not so obvious. Sometimes it's a lot worse than it is. Uh, there again, there's one huge green dot there. I'm sure you can see it there. It's not supposed to be there. That's one hot pixel and it happens after you use a long exposure and the pixels get hot. Uh, let's see if we can find anything here. I'm sure there's some all around the image. Ah, there, there's another one, the blue one here. Now, of course, if you turn on the noise reduction or we leave it uh, to dark frame subtraction, it's gonna get rid of all this. Now we're gonna turn on the noise reduction or dark frame subtraction. Uh, again, this is the same spot. We're gonna turn, leave it to auto because the camera can decide its long exposure. Here we go. Two seconds self timer and it starts. So what's gonna happen is the camera is gonna take two frames two photographs, the first frame being a properly exposed image, which is full 30 seconds. And then the camera, after the shutter is closed, you'll take another shot that's supposed to be dark frame. That's also 30 seconds. So 30 seconds properly exposed image plus 30 seconds dark frame is gonna take a total of 60 seconds. So the first properly exposed frame is done. Now, as you can see, noise reduction in progress, which the camera takes the second half of the dark frame, which is 30 seconds. Then the camera is gonna find the hot pixels because the hot pixels are at the same spot from the properly exposed frame and the dark frame. 
and the software is going to remove the hot pixels because it is the same spot at both images. Reviewing the image, you can see that now the photograph is completely clean of any hot pixels. This is a very effective method to, <laughs> to get rid of any hot pixels if you are doing long exposure photography. I highly recommend that you leave it to auto. Uh, I'll tell you why you shouldn't leave it on uh, in a moment. So Robin, if you say that noise reduction is very important to reduce hot pixels, why don't we just leave it on? Why don't we just turn it on all the time? You see inside the camera, there are three noise reduction settings. Permanently on, permanently off, and automatic. When you set it to automatic, the camera will decide when best to turn on the noise reduction. Now, if you set the camera to turn on the noise reduction all the time, as I've explained what noise reduction is, it is a dark frame subtraction method. The camera will take two photographs every single time. Right, regardless whether you need the hot pixel reduction or not, the camera will take two photographs consecutively and using the software to get rid of the hot pixel. Taking two photographs already double the time of the camera to capture an image, and then there is the software processing to get rid of the hot pixel. This will stretch the time and cause a delay after you press the shutter button. If you turn it off, there is no noise reduction, but it will be a bit troublesome when you need to turn it on again when you need it, sometimes you forgot. So the best solution is to just leave it to auto and the camera will decide when is the best time to turn on the noise reduction to get rid of hot pixels. Don't turn it on, don't turn it off unless you know what you are doing, unless you're very sure, right? Some people will prefer to do their own hot pixel uh, dark frame subtraction, that's fine, you can do it yourself, but for average users like me, for most people, I will recommend, highly, highly recommend, you leave it to automatic so that during your normal shooting, the camera doesn't slow down. Say that you're just taking a normal photograph, you're not doing long exposure like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds. You do not want to have the noise reduction turned on, because if you do, the camera will take two photographs regardless. Because each time the shutter button is pressed, the camera takes two photographs, it slows the camera down. It doubles the time for the camera to capture the image. You can see that there, the blackout time is a lot longer. Now, if you turn the noise reduction to auto, now the camera detects this is not long exposure. You see, it's so much faster. It's so much faster, right? The camera responds immediately. Now this is very important. Do not leave the noise reduction on all the time if you want your camera to respond faster when you're not doing long exposure photography. Just leave it to auto. Let the camera do the thinking. Don't, don't work too hard. Your camera is very smart. That's all I want to share about the noise reduction, what it is, and why you shouldn't leave it on all the time as it will drastically slow down your camera operation. For me, I value speed. I need my camera to react reflexively, especially when I'm capturing decisive and critical moments. That's what photography is all about, capturing important moments. Now, if you found this sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue to share as many tips as I can about Olympus cameras or photography in general here in this channel. Also, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.